Um, I guess as a nice way to round off this part of the conversation, yeah. what would your advice be for feminist activists and particularly perhaps in a Aotearoa New Zealand yes. context? Well, you know, you don't want some American wheeled in here to give advice. What I've learned from New Zealand and Australian feminists is how complicit one can be without being militarized. That is, that certainly on a scale that includes current Syria and the United States and Russia, right? Just think of the scale of militarism, right? Um, New Zealand seems way down the scale, right? But that doesn't mean that militarism doesn't exist. And I don't mean see it where it doesn't exist, but ask where it is when it doesn't look so blatant, right? When it looks more like complicity. And my understanding, again, this is from listening to all of you, um, is that New Zealand is really being led um, by its current policymakers towards more and more militarized views of its place in the world. And that is something that one needs to monitor, make alliances um, with other Pacific women around. Um, Emma was just, she and I have had some good conversations. She was just telling me that the Fijian military is now doing joint exercises with the US military, right? Um, and my guess is, you tell me, is the New Zealand mm -hmm. military doing jo joining in joint exercises with the U.S. military? Yes. Is that pretty new? Mm -hmm. Can you date it? Because yeah, isn't it this year? Really? Australia, New Zealand, they joined Australia, Japan with that. Right, uh, and of course, but. yeah. And if Japan's joining in, that's Abe's vision, right? Mm -hmm. um, the U.S. now has a new base in Darwin, right? Um, if New Zealand, in the name of New Zealand's national, always put in quotes, security, put the national in quotes, put security in quotes, um, is joining, this is new. And if it's new, it's a new way of using power. And it's being done as national security policy in every country, it's being done in your name. So the extent to which you actually think this is your nation and this is your security mm -hmm. and doing joint maneuvers with the U.S. military is enhancing your national security, that's worthy of conversation. And a feminist conversation says, so what's it doing to New Zealand masculinity? And what's it doing to New Zealand women's sense of security and their ability to make genuine alliances with women's rights activists in other Pacific countries? What does, what does that kind of joint maneuvers, just take the joint maneuvers, mm -hmm. what does it do to the ever-evolving, ever-changing um, New Zealand mas dominant masculinities? What's it doing to New Zealand military wives' lives? What's it doing to ideas about women's security? Mm -hmm. That's enough to keep you going for a while. <laughs> yeah. And then, ah, but then you have to email me and tell me, right? I'm very greedy. <laughs>